Accountants Entry Plugin is one of the plugins in Accountants Set. It is designed for accounting firms who provide bookkeeping service for their clients. It provides you a way to key in your transaction easier and faster. I will explain to you the two options in this plugin, which are AR and AP Invoice Spreadsheet Entry and AR and AP Invoice Easy Entry. If you handle high volume of AR and AP Invoice and need approval process, you may select option 1, Spreadsheet Entry, to key in the invoice. If your client has low volume of AR and AP invoice, you may select option 2. These two options have a very useful behavior setting, which is tap stop, copy, and clear. Let's look into the option 1. This is the layout of AR invoice spreadsheet entry. As you can see, it is similar to Microsoft Excel. There are two tabs in AR invoice spreadsheet entry, which are data entry and data summary. Data entry tab is for you to key in the invoice entries. Data summary is for you to have a quick check on the entries that you have keyed in. You can select the document number format here and enter the description of this AR invoice spreadsheet entry. Then you may key in the invoice on data entry tab. Normally, we use tab and enter to go to the next column. In this plugin, it's able to let you skip few columns and direct go to the column that you want to key in. As I mentioned just now, there's the behavior setting tab stop. It is designed for you to preset the tab stop on which column. For example, normally I will just need to key in the debtor code, invoice date, account number, amount, detail description, and GST type. You may just set the tab stop on these few columns, so when you tap on tab or enter, system will skip the unnecessary columns and direct go to the column that you already preset. Let's have a try. I select the debtor code. When I tap on enter, as you can see, it will skip the debtor name and invoice number column. It will direct go to the invoice date column, key in the invoice date, and I tap on enter again, it will skip these few columns and direct go to the account number column. Select the sales account. The next will be the detailed description column. And I enter again, it will go to the amount column. The next is the GST tab column. Another useful behavior setting is auto copy details to next line. Normally, the account number we will select for all AR invoice entries is sales account. You may just preset that, copy the account number to next line. As you can see, when I go to next line, it will auto copy sales account number to next line. You may key in the following entries, select the debtor account, key in the invoice date, so you don't need to select sales account again. As you can see, these two behavior settings will make you key in the entries faster. In AR and AP invoice spreadsheet entry, you can do adjustment for GST easily. You receive the invoice from the client and help them to key in the entry. Select the tax code. The tax amount will calculate automatically by system and showing in this tax column. How if the tax amount in the hard copy is different with the amount calculated by system? 
For example, the amount is 44 ringgit and 40 cent. The tax amount calculated automatically by system is 2 ringgit and 66 cent. However, the tax amount in the hard copy is 2 ringgit and 67 cent. You may just enter the tax amount in the hard copy to user GST column. Then system will auto calculate the GST adjustment. It is helping you to save your time in calculating the GST adjustment. Furthermore, there's an auto save function. You don't need to worry that your power supply suddenly down and all the entries that you key in will gone, since the system will auto save the entries that you key in in every 15 seconds. Let's look at data summary type. You can do a cross-checking on the entries that you key in here since it is separated into two parts, which are entry summary and posting summary. Entry summary is showing you the total amount of the entries that you key in, which is grouped by depto. Through this summary, you can easily do a checking on the depto, invoice date, test code, and amount. For example, I forgot to change one of the invoice date just now, you can easily find that there is one entry in July which is key in wrongly. Double click on it. System will drill down to the data entry specific line of the record key in. You may change the invoice date. Posting summary is showing you the double entry and total amount which is grouped by account. If let's say I key in the wrong account just now, I accidentally select salaries account. I can easily spot out there's a double entry of salaries account in posting summary. Double click on the amount, system will drill down to the spreadsheet entry specific line of record key in. The checking on data summary tab able to reduce the human error mistakes. Once you key in and check all the entries, just click on validate button to validate the entries. After that, you can save the spreadsheet and wait for approval or directly save, approve and post. 